The guy that we're talking about today, you may recognize if you've been paying attention to the channel now recently, because a little bit over a week ago, I posted a video titled, This TikTok Made Him a Fugitive of the State. This is about a TikToker and SoundCloud rapper by the name of Will Survives. In short, he got sick and tired of living the city life in Oregon, so he just packed his stuff up and moved out into the forest, built a cabin all by himself, and documented it all on TikTok. And this guy lived out there in the forest for seven months until he built a recording studio, made a rap career, and self snitched on himself to have the police show up and shut him down. Hey, Willie built a house from nothing. I was out here all last summer cutting down tree trunk, getting big as because I manually saw and cut it. I was chilling, then I came across the gun. Guess, guess, but guess what? No more scum. But naturally, he also documented all that with a drone. Then he went on the run for three days, and then he was finally caught. And a lot of people didn't really know what happened to him, so I ended up reaching out to him to do an interview. And where we left off after my last interview was he had an upcoming court date to find out what his punishment was. Now, that court date is passed, so I gave him a second call to find out what happened there. But unfortunately for Will, his TikTok got him into more trouble with the law. And unfortunately, this time, it seems like there's going to be more repercussions. So today we're going to find out what the original punishment is and uh, what unfortunately happened to him afterwards. I'm going to be cleaning up the cabin here. Oh, on, you're uh, right there right now. Yo, give us a, yo. Give us a quick tour. <laughs> all right. All right. Oh, this is the hole. I'm going to take those logs out of there, get the nails out and disperse them. I've already done a bunch of logs uh, spread out. And then, yeah, basically... This is most of the dirt that came from the hole, so I'm just throwing that in the hole. Dude, that's a big house you built. Dude, I mean, like, that's larger than your average New York City apartment. Yes, it's a pretty big spot for sure. What happened? <laughs> in court? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, went to court, and uh -huh. uh, the only fine I got is a $310 fine. And uh, they gave me a list of work I got to do at the cabin. Uh huh. And I can't, uh, I can't go on the Army Corps of Engineers property for 24 months. So <laughs> that's a little tough, but it's well, all I right. mean, also it's kind of easy to avoid that, I guess. Is it? It's not that much, is it? I mean, they got, uh, they got 13 reservoirs in Oregon. I'm pretty sure, and then I think they're all over the country too. But uh, yeah, it won't be too hard to avoid it. I'll hit rivers and stuff. So you just have to, I guess, like black out all the areas on the map where you cannot go and you'll be fine. Yeah, exactly, exactly. How bad did you think it was going to be before you went into court? I honestly had a, I had no idea because like I've had so many people commenting like, bro, you're, uh, you're done for, you, they're going to get you for like 5k, 10k a tree, uh, and like all types of stuff. But, uh, it ended up being all right. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was way better than what I expected. I was expecting it to be a couple thousand dollars because like if it was like if the damage was really bad, I was going to try to fundraise for you. Facts. Yeah, that would have been cool. Uh, but I'm, I'm very happy. It was just that. That's awesome. Yeah, I think it's partly because um, I was just so willing to clean up and I did it. I did it so fast. I got all my stuff out of here pretty quick. So I think they were just willing to reason with me if I got it all cleaned up. Awesome. So like, so what else? So you couldn't go into the Marine Corps. Uh, did you have to clean up more or? Yeah, there is a lot of stuff I got to do. Uh, so, so what is that? So the logs I got to disperse uh, within a quarter mile radius of the cabin mm -hmm. after taking all the nails out of them. Uh, I got probably 100 nails in these logs I got to take out and then move around and then they're saying I got to take the rocks back uh, to where I originally found them. So I got to move the rocks back to where I originally found them. And I don't know if uh, any of your followers uh, followed my journey with the rocks, but that took a long time to get rocks over here. So last thing is I got to fill the hole with the, the original dirt uh, that was in there. So I don't actually think that's possible, but I'm going to do my best. Nah, I, I wish you best of luck on that. So wait, with the rocks, how, how to explain the people who don't know what happened with the rocks, how did you get them there? There's two spots I got them from, both uh, not, not that good. I got rocks from the train tracks. You can hear the train right now. You know, we got a few backpacks full of those rocks that we got to haul through the woods. Up this hill, uh, we brought a few backpacks worth of big rocks. Um, 
up from the lake that we gotta take down now so uh it'll be all right but it's, it's cool how many hours of work do you think you have to do to have it all cleaned up to their standards i've been trying to not think about that <laughs> uh <laughs> but they they gave me to the uh august 31st okay and i probably only got like uh 40 to 60 hours of work to go. Uh, is, oh, I'm going to be out here a lot digging. Yeah. Yeah. It, to dig the original hole, it took that took like a couple weeks. Yeah. And I got to move the same amount of dirt back. So, so yeah, we'll see. Oh, no. I wish you best of luck for that. And uh, when you're finished with that hole, what are you, you going to be doing then? So, uh, yeah. When I'm done with the hole, I got, actually got to wait around because I have another court date for... A oh, fishing no. violation that I got. And then after that, I'm going on the road trip. I'm going to be doing a bunch of different stuff outdoors. And uh, when I'm done with the road trip, building another cabin. So I'm hyped for that. Awesome. Have you, have you thought about trying to like buy a very small plot of land somewhere random so you can do it all legally without any problems? Yeah, I'm split between doing that and uh, taking up someone's offer uh, who's offering uh, a spot because I got a bunch of people with like large spots of land uh and it's got like a creek going through it and all the materials i need oh, and if sick. i was gonna buy my own uh property it would just be it would be probably pretty lame no no water probably so I, yeah i'm split but uh something like that yeah i mean take up the offer of uh being able to build on someone who's offering it for free and then build up uh your following and videos and just focus on content make a bag and then buy your own place Yep. The the fishing violation, that's not anything like major, right? Like you're not risking anything crazy for that. And did you just get nah, that fishing nah. violation? Yeah, I did. Uh, <laughs> it's messed up, man. It's messed up because he didn't even it was the same state trooper who uh, caught me here at the cabin and he didn't even catch me fishing. He's been watching my YouTube videos and in a couple of them, I, ca I caught uh, three fish and he wrote me a violation for each one. And it, it says on the on the ticket it says six thousand dollar fine, but I think I think that's going to be reduced. I'm like ninety nine percent sure that'll be reduced significantly, but uh, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's not anything major. You're like, oh, so it's a six thousand dollar fine. That's pretty major. <laughs> that's a oh, big yeah, deal. It, uh, yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Because last time I interviewed you, you hadn't even started fishing. Not really, no. So in the span since I talked to you last, you've already gotten a $6,000 fine for fishing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Will. Let's go. <laughs> no. Crack them up. So, so is it just because like you, you essentially took fish that were not in season? Is that the, the well, deal? I didn't have a fishing license. Oh. Is the reason. Do, do you have one now? I since have got one, yes. I didn't know that I could get one, uh, not online. I was trying to go online and do it. Yeah. And for some reason, I could not get into my account that I had made a, a few years ago. Uh huh. And so I gave up. But then <laughs> I did more research once I got the ticket and found yeah. out I could get it like big five or whatever. So we got one now. That's awesome. But I'm going to be on TikTok live uh, uh -huh. the next couple of weeks cleaning it up and uh, <laughs> posting those videos to my YouTube channel. So if you can't get the TikTok lives, you can go to my YouTube. Did you and, uh, get your uh, yeah. TikTok account back? TikTok, no. Uh, so I have a new TikTok account uh, at Will Survives Official. Uh, trying to get that back up. So, yeah. And then my Instagram for updates, that's where I'll post the most updates is, is Instagram. Awesome. And uh, that's, that's basically all my socials. Dude, awesome. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much for your time. And hopefully they reduce that $6,000 fine because that's absolutely insane. It's nuts. I appreciate that. I saw someone was commenting like, I am not laughing at you. I'm laughing at how ridiculous your situation is because I mean, like, you oh, don't hear yeah. this every day. Wish you the best of luck and we'll talk soon, man. Appreciate it. Thank you as well. Good luck cleaning up. But if you want to know the full story of how he was living out in the forest for seven months, you can check out this video right here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.